Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Sims 3 Leprosy Challenge Generation 3. I have no idea what part it is, so honestly, don't even ask me. But today we are back at the Kirkland household. Blake and Baylor are both here um, sleeping away. If you guys remember, in the last part, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of shit went down. Um, Baylor got caught. Jennifer caught him sleeping with Nicole, and Jennifer left him. Um, and then Nicole is currently pregnant with his child. I think it's too early for her to know, but we did, like, make sure that she got pregnant. But I just kind of realized this. Nicole dislikes children. So I think, you know, when Nicole finds out she's pregnant, obviously we're going to move her in with us. Same thing we did with Jennifer. But I think her disliking children and the fact that Baylor has a child with someone else is going to put a big strain on their relationship. Um, so that'll be interesting to see. And then Miss Blake over here was caught by Muhammad sleeping with Eddie. Um, but Muhammad decided to try and fix the relationship, so he is still here. He's currently sleeping on the couch, and I thought this was perfect timing for Scarlett to sneak out of the house and go finish her university degree. Um, she is very, very close to graduating with a technology degree, and right now with everything happening, um, I think it's the perfect time for her to say goodbye to Scarlett as quickly and quietly as she can, and then slip out of the house while Muhammad is sleeping. So I'm actually going to go ahead and wake her up, have her um, just kind of take care of her baby really quickly. And then she is going to leave for university. I'm going to try and get her out of the house before anyone wakes up, but we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, she's just going to take care of her child before she goes. And then she is headed off to finish her university degree, and she thinks this is the perfect idea. It's definitely not, but she thinks it's a good idea because it gives her and Muhammad some time. Can you stop barking? You guys are so annoying. Hold on. Go chase the ball and go freaking dig a hole or something. My goodness. Um, she thinks it's a perfect time for... Is she potty trained? She is perfect. She thinks it's a perfect time for her and Muhammad to have some time apart. Does she know all of her skills? Oh my god, she does. What a queen! What a queen. I bet you James knows none of them. Anyways, she thinks this is the perfect time for her and Muhammad to spend some time apart um, with everything that happened. And this is really time for Blake to get away from everyone she knows, all distractions, because she is going to university by herself this time. So it's the perfect time for her to get away from, you know, everyone she knows, all the distractions, and really figure out who does she want to be with. Because she has been romantically involved with both Eddie and Muhammad pretty much her entire young adult life. I mean, as soon as she went to university, she met both of them. She started woohooing with both of them. And she has been romantically involved with both of them basically since the day she aged up. I know she's like only halfway through her young adult life, but because of university, it makes it seem longer. Um, okay, we're going to enroll in university. So she has been romantically involved with both of them pretty much her entire adult life. And now that she has been caught, also my, like, storyline, I guess, is that Eddie obviously knew about Muhammad. They have a kid together and everything. But Muhammad had no idea what was going on with her and Eddie. So he's very heartbroken. So now she needs to decide, does she want to stay with Muhammad, who's the father of her child, or does she see things going somewhere with Eddie in the future is kind of the decision she needs to make. Um, and she thinks the perfect way to do that is to disappear without telling anyone and go to university. So that is what we are doing. We are sending her, let's see, we need 18 credits. I can do one term of like really crazy busy or, I, well, damn. All right, we're going to do one term of 18 credits. I'm probably going to like speed run her uni this last stretch of university just so I can kind of wrap up this Let's Play, or at least this season of this Let's Play. So I'll do one term, which is one week, 18 credits, and that will get her graduating, which will be really exciting. Um, she'll finally be a graduate. Um, 
yeah, we're going to go ahead and actually, no, I don't even care. I was like, maybe I should have her take the aptitude test so she can get some financial help, but no, it's okay. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and accept this. She thinks this is the perfect thing to do is to just run away and not tell anyone and yeah, just run away and hide. And I know it's going to wake them up to see student off, but we're just going to pretend they're not doing that. Um, you're going to come over here. Okay, for a second I thought I hit the wrong one. Come over here, take care of your child. He still needs to learn how to talk. And honestly, potty, probably potty train also. And then Muhammad, why don't you actually... We'll just say he woke up from a nap and saw Scarlet in the high chair. So he's like, oh, well, let me go let her out. And then he's going to go sleep in the bed. Because maybe he is, like, under the impression that Blake just left to, like, I don't know, go to the store or something. So Blake is off to university, and I'm actually going to pick up with you guys once she um, is officially in that town. And it'll be our last time in university, at least for this generation. So I will see you guys then. Alrighty, guys. We made it into university, and I think, well... I was going to put her in the sorority, but now I'm kind of like, maybe I want her closer to town. <laughs> um, no, you know what? We're going to put her in the sorority. We haven't had a chance to, you know, we've always had like a boy and a girl, you know, Blake and Baylor. So we haven't had a chance to do a sorority or a fraternity. So we're going to do a sorority. Honestly, I don't think I've ever, I don't think I have ever lived in the fraternity because I always go like with multiple sims and it's usually at least one boy and at least one girl. And the few times I go with just one sim, it's typically a girl, like nine times out of ten it's a girl. But anyways, here we are back at university for the fourth and final time is this the fourth time or is it the fifth time i think it's the fourth time the fourth and final time we are here to finish out our degree look at her she's like oh, did i make a mistake coming back or was this the right idea she is so effing cute i love her love her your nose jobs did you wonders <laughs> you guys remember we had to give her two separate nose jobs because her nose was just so like flat to her face it was disgusting um honey why don't you actually go inside I hate that they do that I also kind of love that everything is about her daughter well mostly everything her daughter and she wants to get a degree so the very first thing we're gonna do very first thing number one um you guys are probably thinking like why would you do that we are going to go ahead and call up Baylor and have a nice conversation with him. Um, I think, you know, she left at, what was it, like 5, 6 in the morning. It's now 8.30. She's finally got to school. And, you know, Baylor's up. Muhammad's up. They're probably wondering where she is. So she is just calling him and telling her brother what happened. She's like, you know, I enrolled in school. I'm here now. Like, I'll be here for a few months. Um, I know Muhammad will take care of Scarlet, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I think we just need to be apart. Like, she's just explaining everything to Baylor. And she's a little scared to explain it to Muhammad. So that's why she's not calling him. Um, I am going to go ahead and claim this bed as our own. And I'm going to make just a few just some like minor changes to the house literally one change nothing crazy um i hate when my only option is to take a bath so i'm just gonna switch out the bathtub for a bath shower combo yeah that's literally all i'm gonna do and then i think i'm gonna delete that because it's just too many doors just too many freaking doors and then we're going to lock this one for everyone but myself, just so that way when people go to use this bathroom, they're not walking through her bedroom. Um, yeah, so this is set as our bed. All the girlies are finally moving in. Who's this? Why does she look like she's had a makeover? She looks cute. Also, why, um, 
Tanya, why are you in such a such a baller outfit? Oh my gosh, does Taryn live with us? She does. If you guys remember Taryn, um, Baylor, the last time they were here, had like a slight little fling with her. And I actually really liked her, but you guys said you weren't feeling it. You didn't want her to come around. So no Taryn, unfortunately, but yeah. She lives with us. That's funny. Where is she? Go talk to her. Um, go give her a friendly introduction. I just think it'd be really funny if she became best friends with the girl that her brother, like, almost left his baby mamas for. Okay, she needs to come inside, though, is the thing. Call her over. Like, get inside, bitch. Oh, my God. Go here. So we can effing call. Okay, now she's inside. Jeez Louise, I hate people. I think it'd be really funny if we, like, came back from university and is like, hey, this is my bestie, and it's the girl that, <laughs> like, like, Loki had a fling with. Okay, so we're just gonna, like, get to know her, ask her some questions. I'm honestly just kind of killing time until, um... Uh, the university meet and greet. So yeah, we'll just ask her all the basic questions. Ronnie, I do not care about your science skill. Also, I really want to focus on her nerd um, influence or whatever it is because she is a master at the rebel and she's a six nerd. So like my goal, I don't think it's going to happen, but my goal is to uh, max out the nerd influence. Um, uh, while she's at university. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. So she is currently three stars. So basically we can like talk to nerds, play video games, solve equations, research science facility, group projects, the brain machine, throw things into bonfires, play arcades, um, socialize with other nerds. Yeah, basically, like, socializing with nerds, playing video games, um, bonfires, like, throwing stuff in the bonfires, whiteboards, all that stuff we can do at, um, where is it? At the, uh, where, the student union, where we go for the meet and greet. Oh my god, why was that so hard for me to say? I'm embarrassed. Let's. Um, do the school cheer, because why not? Oh, she's an Aries. Love to see it. Oh, just kidding. We are off to the university meet and greet. Off we go. I'm kind of hoping that... What's his name? Richard, I think is his name. Let's see. Where is he? Can we not do this? Thanks. Why does she know 65,000 people? Jeez Louise. Okay, I'm kind of hoping, yes, Richard. I'm hoping Richard is here because I really want her to become friends with Richard also. Um, and I think that's going to help her realize who she wants to be with because when she wasn't around either Eddie or Muhammad, she goes for, you know, she latches on to someone who slightly resembles one of the two. And I think you guys can figure out which one, but... I'm just going to leave it at that. All right, so let's get inside. And like I said, I really want to focus on her nerd influence. So I'm going to go over to the whiteboard because I said that will help increase it. Um, and I think Richard is actually a nerd also, which will be really helpful becoming friends with him. Oh. Oh, wait a second. Okay, yeah, he's he's more nerd than anything, so that's nice. Um, let's get a free candy bar and a free soda. It's just always nice to have those. Um, let's erase that. It's just always nice to have those in your inventory for those days when she's at class, like, nonstop. We got invited to a bonfire. I'm sure we'll go. Who threw it, Tanya? I think the name was. We literally live with her, so no big deal. Um, but like I was saying, it's just always nice to have those in your inventory for, you know, between classes when you don't have time to eat and stuff. And then let's take a look at her class schedule. Um, she has class 
8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays only 4 to 6. So that's kind of nice that she doesn't have, um, you know, she has like later classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That'll give us plenty of time to do stuff with her. But we're going to go ahead and um, draw a diagram. We're just going to do all the nerd stuff because that's what we're really focusing on. We're going to ignore that call. But yeah, we're just going to do as much nerd stuff as we can because that's what I really, really want to focus on. Uh, but let's see if Richard is here. Probably not. We could could never be so lucky, could we? Hopefully Richard will come to our party, though. Oh, here's a good way to figure out uh, who's all here. Okay, maybe not because we can only... Okay, here we go. Um... Yeah, Richard is not here. Love to see it. Um, go ahead and erase that again. Oh, she's thinking about her daughter. Oh, so cute. I wish that she could call her daughter. I really wish she could. That guitar is really annoying. I'm going to ask you to stop. I'm going to have to politely ask you to take a break. Thanks. Um... I know her daughter's only a toddler, but I wish we could call her. Like, we could call Baylor and ask to speak with her, and he could give her the phone. Because she does know how to talk, so, like, she should be able to. Really lame. Okay, we're just going to do this until whatever skill she's improving goes up. I don't know what she's improving, so I guess let's just figure it out. Oh, it looks like she's actually improving two different skills. Um, one when she draws a diagram and one when she does the other thing. I don't know what the other thing was. Okay, let's erase that. And solve equation. Love is in the air. I do not care. And then let's actually see how much this is improving her nerd influence. Oh, she's so close. We're going to do it one more time. Just because I don't know what skill she's improving and I want to know. So we're going to solve the equation one more time. And then let's just see how much this is even helping. She has not moved at all. That's so irritating. I feel like talking to other nerds is probably going to be our best bet. Her handiness? What? What? Let's give a presentation. Let's see what that does. Actually, screw it. Answer your phone. All right, let's see. It's probably... The party is starting soon. Well, you know what I want to do before the party? What is this? Oh, it's because it's the meet and greet. Um, I want to go grab a bite to eat really quick, and then we will attend the party. Is it going to tell me nobody's home? Go to sorority. We're going to go grab something to eat and then go to the party. I don't think she's really going to party much. Um, another thing. Let's see. Do scientific research. I thought there was like do research at the science facility. Let me see here. Where is the science facility? Um, that's business, that's the library, school of science. Um, you can donate your eggs, love to see it. Donate services, saliva, plasma, donate giggles. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder if that improves your nerd skill. I don't know. I think it's mostly going to be a lot of playing video games, if I'm being honest, because that's the only one I know that, like, really fully 100%, like, works on your nerd level. Okay, and then when you get home, first thing you're doing is go into the bathroom. And then is there a bonfire here? Didn't we get invited to a bonfire party? There is. So we're going to come light the bonfire. That'll help her um, jock. And then we will throw random things into the fire pit. And that'll help her nerd. 
Um, let's see. Okay, she's more rebel than anything. You're nothing. You're more rebel. You're nothing. <laughs> You're jock. You're jock. These two girls are so cute. I don't know. I love those two. I think they're adorable. I don't know why. Cammie and Taryn. Are they together? I would love that. Anyways, she does have class at 8 a.m. tomorrow. So, ooh, let's get the mail first. Before we do anything, let's get the mail. And then we'll light the bonfire. All right, perfect. You're here. Oh my gosh, and then we can also... I totally forgot about that. We can check this for stuff to improve it to. Um, get the super juiced moodlet. Uh, sure, I'll say we'll do it, but I don't know if we'll actually do it. We'll just kind of have to see what happens. Girl, you better get in that bathroom before someone else beats you there. No! Screw her! You go first. Oh my god, three people are trying to use this toilet. Go light the effing bonfire. I'm over it. This is supposed to be a party. It's not very party-ish, if you ask me. It's just a couple girls hanging out. Doesn't scream party to me. Okay, is there even a... Uh, a juice keg here? I don't think there's even a keg here. And I'm not buying one. Okay, um, we'll add just a little bit of wood and then we'll throw a bunch of test tubes. Okay. Turn the fire blue. Did some sparkles. Some blue. Some blue again. We'll add wood a couple more times. Throw a couple more test tubes. Oh, oh! Okay, apparently that made the bonfire bigger. We love to see it. Just throw some more test tubes. See if this is even... Okay, we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting a little better. No, bitch, come back here. Also, like, go talk to Cami. I think she's cute. I like her. And now you smell like a butthole. Thanks a lot. Um, ask her son, ask her if she's single, ask her alma mater, and then you need to go, like, take care of your needs before bed. Use the bathroom, take a shower, and then go to bed. Let's see. If you went to bed right now, you would wake up at 6 a.m. She's a Sagittarius. Disgusting. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but I actually think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. Um, I'm probably going to play Monday off camera just because it's literally going to be class, class, class all day long. And then um, I'm mostly going to focus on like improving her nerd influence and also studying. So it's not going to be like super exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm going to play Monday off camera. I might play like Tuesday, Thursday. Tuesday and Thursday on camera, but definitely Monday and Wednesday are going to be off camera. Look at her. She's like, I don't know if I made the right choice, guys. Should I have come here? I don't know, man. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so very much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, all of that jazz. And I will see your lovely, lovely faces in my next video. Bye, guys.